Yeah, all three defendants we talked with deny any involvement in the Aryan warrior gang. Two of them would not answer specific questions we had, and they happen to be husband and wife. Are you part of the Aryan warrior gang? I am not. I am not. Are you a white supremacist? Uh, Ma'am, my, my, my daughter is, I have a 23-year-old daughter who's half black, half white. Photos on Facebook show happier times for the family. Now Norma Snyder and her husband, Jess Guth, are among 23 indicted. Authorities call them members of the Aryan warrior gang deemed dangerous and violent. Some are accused of murder. Snyder and Guth are accused of drug trafficking, racketeering, and more. The majority of the people on that, uh, on that, on this indictment, um, were ha have have fallen out uh, uh, with the, with the gang over over so much time. Were you, you know, part of that gang in prison? I'm not going to speak on this without an attorney. According to grand jury transcripts, Jess Guth admitted to being a member of the Aryan Warriors at High Desert State Prison and said he has an AW tattoo. He spent time behind bars for attempted murder, forgery, and other charges. He insists the past year he stayed out of trouble, working construction at the new Raiders Stadium. But Metro Police say the couple was selling drugs. Investigators say a confidential informant purchased methamphetamine at their home earlier this year, twice. And at least once, Norma Snyder hand-delivered the meth. And a search warrant revealed a stash inside the house. Were you dealing drugs out of your home? I'm not going to answer any of these uh, questions. They're charging me with trafficking. They don't have me selling any drugs whatsoever. Defendant Michael Sullivan tells the I team he was selling drugs. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I sold some drugs, yeah. He also denies any involvement with the Aryan Warrior gang. I ain't never been in a gang my whole entire life. You're not a white supremacist? Not at all. Do you have not any tattoos all. associated with the Aryan Warriors? Not at all. Jess Gutz says he has a lot more to say, but he hasn't been appointed an attorney yet. He wants to wait to talk with his lawyer when he gets one. This case is still very early on. You can expect more court appearances and updates. And you spoke with those three, but of course almost two dozen people were arrested in connection. What about the other defendants? So many of them are at the Clark County Detention Center. Out of them, these three are the only ones who agreed to talk with us. There are other defendants in prison. Typically, cameras are not allowed for interviews. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. Thanks.